Hi, this is Ashwin from Circuit Digest and in this video I'll show you how you can use a multimeter like this one to check if your battery is in a working state or not. Now before we get started let me make it very clear that this video is not going to show you how to measure capacity of batteries using multimeter. It's just going to show you how you can measure the voltage of a battery and determine if the cell is in a working state or not. That being said, let's get started. So there are many types of batteries. The first one you see here is a 9 volt battery like this one or even it might be like this. Many of us would be familiar for projects. And then we have a 12 volt lead acid battery commonly used in bikes and cars. The third one here is an 18650 lithium ion cell, which you can see here. And uh, the fourth one here is a 32650, again a lithium ion cell, but with a, a different chemistry. This one here is NMC, and this one here is lithium ferrous phosphate or LFP chemistry. Lastly, we have lithium polymer cell. Uh, this is a single cell. It is also coming in packs. Like if you can see, this is a pack. I'll also show you another lithium polymer pack. This is a battery pack. So now uh, that is it. There are many types of cell. And the thing that you have to understand is the minimum and maximum voltage of these cells. So when I measure the voltage of this cell, if it is within the minimum and the maximum voltage range, it means the cell is in an operating condition. So that is it. Now let me use a multimeter to show you how you can check battery voltage. So here we have our multimeter. The dial is already set to voltage mode to measure which is less than 20 liters. The black probe should be here and the red probe should be connected to voltage. And then you can take any battery that you want to measure and you have to figure out the positive and negative terminals. For example, in this battery here, the negative terminal is on the left side. So I'm going to place my black probe on the negative terminal and the red probe on the positive terminal. As you can see, the voltage of the battery is 8.63 volts, which is well within the limits of 7.5 volt to 9 volts. So this battery is working. Next, we have a lithium battery. Again, we have to find the positive terminal and the negative terminal. As you can see here, the left side is the positive terminal. So I'm going to switch my probes and again measure the voltage of this cell. Now here, if you can see, the voltage keeps fluctuating and it never crosses 1 volt. So this cell is pretty much damaged because the minimum voltage it should have is 2.7 volt. As you can see physically, also it has sustained some damage due to water leak and other stuff. So this cell is completely damaged and it cannot be used uh, because the voltage is very low than the minimum voltage. Now again, let's do it with another type of lithium cell we have, the 18650 lithium cell. Again, uh, it's the positives on the left side. So I'm going to place my positive probe here and the negative probe on the other side. As you can see, the voltage here is around 3.7776 volts, which is within the permissible limit between 2.7 volt to 4.2 volts. So this cell is completely working. Now, accidentally, if you swap the polarity while measuring the voltage, nothing bad would happen. As you can see, I have swapped the polarity and the voltage is just being displayed with a negative sign in front of it. So yeah, nothing bad would happen, but it's always recommended to measure it in the right way. So that is it guys. This is how you can check if your battery is in an operating condition using a multimeter. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.